Hi and welcome. I need a mic here. Welcome back to our open stop motion film project. And yes, I am still fighting this beast. Uh, it's kind of it's trying my patience, but. Uh, and I'm afraid to say I think I have it now because then I jinx it so I don't know I'm taking it off and a little on and a little off and a little on. Next time I make something that's this big with a that wingspan, then I will use some wire mesh inside it because it is a little unwieldy. You can barely touch it before it starts to lose shape. And I have lightened it as much as much as I could. So but there is a limit.
one page. This is sticking here too. Get out of there. We don't need you. I want it as thin as I possible possibly. Sometimes it's so fast. Thick, thick thread are getting through. jumping around a little because if I keep on doing on the same place it gets so hot that
Can shave it afterwards. Yeah. Doing that. Then the thought was that I can make these. See that? When I have. I thought that was easier when I have a little. Thickness to them, but I don't know. We will try. See how it will end. Yeah. 
It can end up being a bad idea. We know where it is. Where we have it.
give it a good what is this sometimes it don't stick to But it's a good thing we can have the door open out to the balcony tonight because it's cold outside so we can keep the temperature on the clay down. a mic on the table. See, now I want to try something. I'm not sure it works. It will work, but but one can always try. is a way where we can uh, like this where we can simulate feathers I will try
See, this one won't like it. Maybe I should give it hopes. I think we need to give this a little oil. Oops. Things you are going to 
think about or are thinking about during the day you know, like if I did it like that that work and sometimes you think oh yes it would and then when we come to practice oh no why are it still sticking to this Maybe it got worse with the oil stuff. I don't know. It got more sticky. Maybe I should go out and clean it totally. See? And I think I'll try it. Just a moment. Now we will see it got better or worse. Now I cleaned it with some soap so we got all the 
oily stuff off. But maybe that will make it worse. It is an oil ba based clay, so I don't know why it do like it does. Find out. Tell me here a little Microsoft today or Microsoft Weekly with Paul Tarot and Mary Jo Foley on Twitter. That's the tech podcast I always follow. Uh, have done for years. What's happened? It's a different situation. It, it makes sense that Microsoft would put its investments into this space right, and provide customers with a way to move forward. Stick. Uh, and we'll see. But again, I, I, the, the glaring hole here, and this is the big problem for Microsoft and for you know, fans of the platform or users of the platform, is that you know, the mobile part of it never took off. And, um, well, that's why started. they're in a different position than Apple. And this, yeah. this relates yeah. to that RS Studio post from Mason Cook. Uh, it was <laughs> um, yeah. What that was like from a Windows perspective, the, the 
is still very much talking up the kind of Windows value proposition for developers. Like, you can go back and look at yeah. all of the, the bridge technologies that they did, and they're opening up to open source, and they're, they're, they've undergone all these patterns. But I, I think a, a fundamental thing that needs to happen for them as well is what I think we're seeing here, which is bringing developers and their apps forward to the future in kind of a different way than we thought of it in the past. Uh, because there's a lot of legacy code out there, and, and it's businesses especially are not just going to walk away from that. And so if you want these guys to move forward, you need to provide them with a way to do that. And I think that's what this addresses. It's really interesting. Yeah. And it's always been Microsoft's hereditary problem not leaving mm -hmm. the legacy behind. Yeah, right. Exactly. exactly. And they had to always have to. Well, I think we will end up. End up putting. Yeah, you know, if we go back five years ago or so, there, there was a conversation you could have about how aggressive Apple was. We invest on some of the bigger models and maybe. A small like one we will do like this, I don't know. Just do that. Well, surprise, Apple has like a billion customers. Um, they're spread against, uh, across different device types, most of them are iOS devices. Um, they're still moving really aggressively, folks. And so I, I think there's a middle ground that can be had. And I, I mean, this is one of the topics I've got later. But um, yeah, that's the, the, the problem with Windows is the greatest strength of Windows, which is essentially this legacy Windows 32 app platform. Um, it's the only thing keeping it going, but it's also insecure, it's, you know, it's got performance problems, there's all kinds of issues with it, um, it's not modern, etc. So, yeah, it's, it, it's something that needs to be addressed. Very interesting. You live in interesting times. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, our show today, we're going to take a break, come back with more Paul Throck and Mary Jo Foley as we talk about Windows. Uh, very good news. I, my card got billed for over $3,000. Yeah, so we have. <laughs> oh, oh, I mentioned, I should have mentioned, by Microsoft. So that means that the uh, Creative Studio is on its way. Have you heard some people are getting theirs? Yeah, there have been reports of people getting shipment notifications. The Surface Studio, not Creative Studio. Yep, Surface Studio featuring Windows Creative Edition. Someday. <laughs> so people, I've, I've seen reviews, but those are so yeah. review units have been out. But, but real yeah. normal people like me are getting. I'm not normal. Yes, I think they're starting to. Nice. Well, uh, you because know, it said when I ordered it, it said fifteen. It'd be really lovely to get it. Uh, yeah. yeah. So for the first people to get it, we'll get it. You know, we'll get the holiday or something. We'll screw up a little bit, but possibly by the end of this week, and if not, you know, next week, we'll check the Windows Microsoft Store and see. Again, 
is something the new workforce uh, uh. really wants. They want to be able to use it on their phone, uh, wherever they are. And you want them to do that with secure authentication. You can customize Igloo to fit your needs to work with your current IT investments. Of course, it works with Office 365 and, uh, uh. and SharePoint and Active Directory. File sharing solutions like Box and Google Drive support systems like Zendesk. Time to modernize the internet and make an internet your employees and staff and frankly you will actually like to use. Find out more, you can try it free at igloosoftware.com slash twit. I-G-L-O-O software.com slash twit. That we are so not going to do. See it in action. And by the way, when you do that through that link, you could also, if you want, I think this is a great way to do it, just get it for your small work group. It's free for up to 10 people forever. So, you know, I don't know, if you've got a bridge club, a, 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 a Xbox One Call of Duty club, whatever, free for 10 people forever. Igloosoftware.com slash twit. And once you use your club, you can say, hey, I can tell the boss about this. It's an intranet. It actually works. We're talking uh, Windows, Windows Weekly. Paul Therott, Mary Jo Foley, as always, gathered together around the Thanksgiving table. <laughs> and you know, this uh, Thanksgiving's tomorrow in the United States, and uh, you know there's going to be some very... Oh, yes. Around the table. Yeah, Thanksgiving and tomorrow. Android, iOS, battling, battling, battling. <laughs> yep, that's going to be the big fight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people are going to actually say, oh, thank God, we can talk about that. Yep. Let's play over Windows versus Mac. That'd be so those much fun. Those two, those two guys, the Yamba Mac, I'm a PC ad. I hated those guys. <laughs> Bring them back, back. So, um, one of the things that you did in Hortel last week that I thought was really interesting is you had your start menu on your Holo HoloLens. And I asked at the time, is that Windows holographic? You said yes. We are not going to. Uh, was a little mistake again. Not a mistake because I had to try.
know what the number is. It says you guys could not locate the shipment details for your yeah. request. That means yeah. they've printed the label, but they actually haven't given it to the truck. Yeah, right. So it's still at the factory. This system. I know. I wish. I know. Because sometimes it stays, right? Yeah, I don't like that. It's two separate boxes. Uh, two separate boxes. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Probably with the dial. The dial's in another one. Yeah, because the dial is not technically part of it, right? So you got to get dialed with it. Yeah. yeah. I guess that's that's probably nice. it. It's showing. The other one's going to be the size of the refrigerator. I know. Where are you going to put this giant thing? Uh, well, good question. I don't think, I, you know, I don't know. It's not going to be, obviously. If I had it here, you wouldn't see me. Right. I'd be like, oh, well, you, could, yeah. you, could, you could kind of put it down in front of well, me. So that's then what then. I'm thinking. I'm going to do it on the round table set uh, yeah. where we have, you know, people kind of arrayed behind me and then the camera's in front of me. But if I have it at a 20 degree angle, I might look like, like kind of some weird DJ or something. DJ, yeah. <laughs> but, I, right. but I think potentially it could be great and I could. I could, you know, I can telestrate as we're showing website or whatever. I can actually do the John Madden boom, boom, what it might need to create a UWP app, Leo. Nice. A telestrator app or what? A twit UWP app. Yeah. Well, Dimitri Why, Yala was, was going to do that. You. I can draw the whatever you're doing. No, it doesn't. Can I draw? Can I, with Edge, I can draw right on the sure. thing, right? Oh, yeah, you can use Oh, you're me. talking about the John Madden thing where you write yeah, over yeah, the Yeah, telestrate the, uh, yeah. the, the screen I'm showing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It might be fun. The only thing I realize is I'm going to still need a keyboard. So when you put it in the 20 degree mode, the yeah. way they always show it, somebody's already you know bellied right up to it, which yeah. is kind yeah. of a more natural way to work as an artist. But I'm going to need to slide it, I don't know, six inches in to have the keyboard there. It should still work. It should work, right? I still yeah. want it. Oh, I, you know, it's one of those things I, 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 I had to buy it so I can review it. And I'm hopeful. I will do. The, the whole row, and then I will go and look at it so and decide what if we're gonna work or not. Tomorrow I'll take it all off. Isn't that what happens when uh, when you retire? You know the boxer, the TV, no, no. when they retire, they end up taking a painting, and then they have gallery exhibits of this really pretty crappy kind of. You can't really call it Grandma Moses primitive. It's just bad. Painting. Yeah. George W. Bush did this. Yep, yeah, W's got all these paintings. You know, him in the bathtub and stuff. That's that's, that's my future. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't, I'm actually really excited. It still says release date 1215 on it, but it says status on the order is complete. No, that's going to change. Try to make you get it the next week. Oh, I'd love to have it by the next show. And if I do, I'll have it set up. Yeah, I bet you will. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be great. They say uh, at, Google, at the Google Plex in Amsterdam, when the interns get upset, they set up that one with Bob Ross. Like, <laughs> 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 it's a like, 
they're going to pull right up. Yeah, yeah. they'll yeah. tell you. Like, you have to get out of the way. Yeah. So the driver said that this guy uh, uh, ran a red light, hit, his, hit the car, nice Mercedes limo, scratched the car. Driver gets out screaming oh, at him, so and they have this loud ma fighting match. And, and then the and then the bicycle gets off and rides off, and the driver said, "Actually, I'm very relieved you did because had the police arrived, I wouldn't yep. be here. I'd be in jail." Exactly. Yeah, we gotta get out of the way. It's hard for us as uh, Americans because we just walk. You know, we walked out what we perceived to be the sidewalk, oh, oh, oh. and uh, it's very subtle, but on the left, <laughs> but they have their own lane, their lane. So we sort of see little yeah. bike routes that are like yeah. little bike highways. You know, I like them. Uh, but I've learned it whenever I'm traveling, to, if, you, if you're, do not stand in a bike lane, you're, you're not supposed no. to be there. No, no, don't no. walk in a bike lane. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't just stand both ways. Yeah. 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 I wish we you had all these lanes you got to walk through, you know, with the wheels and the pipes. You really got to pay attention. It's great. Right. Yeah. Listening for I know. <laughs> yeah. you know. But we should have that. That's great. And uh, that means well, it takes a lot of time. Remember, though, uh, the Netherlands is flat. Yeah, that's so, true. Yeah. One of the benefits of that is they can do have these incredible bike systems uh, in a place like a private business. <coughs> Sorry. I would, I would, uh, uh, that's right. Thank you. But that's when you get the electric assist. You know, I, uh, yeah. I wish I were, I would like to go back when it freezes, because I guess the, uh, the ground freezes and people yeah, ice sometimes. skate. You know, like, yeah, so Steve, uh, Stephen Bank is one of our friends there, and he grew up there, was telling me when he was a kid, he used to do that all the time. Maybe it will work. Maybe once every ten years. Yeah. For that to happen. So in St. Petersburg, the, the, uh, the it's hard to decide. The NFC never NFC freezes. And uh, they do ice skate. Actually, Catherine the Great built a giant ice palace on the river. And that made two of her uh, servants get married and spend their wedding night on an ice bed. Look at that tomorrow. Change by opening settings, tonight. personalization, the taskbar. I think. Oh, taskbar. Oh, well, that's the first place I've looked for. I don't know. I really don't. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Here, let me know. So this option actually isn't. I have one more time, one more right. taking an hour of your time. 
Well, I don't believe anybody have seen it for now, but uh, anywho and anyhow, I will thank you for those who have the patience and join me this evening. It was nice done of you. And I will see you again tomorrow. And uh, I'll go on uh, replay after this. So, and I hope this will cool up. It already is. So, I'll say thank you and see you again tomorrow. Bye bye.